War-torn ruins in Homs today in this amateur video. Hundreds are trapped in rebel-held enclaves in the city, besieged by government forces, desperately hoping peace talks might secure safe passage for a UN aid convoy. We want Geneva to break the siege and make us safe roads and get us out of here. I need an operation on my leg, says this man. We fill our stomach with stones. We don't want food or water anymore. We are worried about the wounded people, says this man. But now, from the talks in Geneva, what sounds like encouraging news, at least for women and children in Homs. Women and children in this besieged area uh, in the old city are welcome to leave immediately. The Syrian deputy foreign minister, who's also in Geneva, confirmed the deal. If the armed groups, if the terrorists in the city of Homs allow these children and women to move, and to leave the old city of Homs, we shall allow them immediately every access, and not only that, we shall provide them with shelter, we shall provide them with medicine. Though this is a limited deal, it is significant. It shows these peace talks here in Geneva can make a difference. But there's a caveat. The Syrian government is saying that if anyone other than women and children want to leave Homs, in other words, men, they've got to put their name on a list, and the opposition fear a trap. The regime uh, keeps asking for lists. We feel that these are lists that it will use in detaining people and maybe tortur torturing them. It's not a good thing uh, to ask for these names. People don't trust the government to, uh, in, uh, with any names. Also discussed in Geneva today, the issue of prisoners. The opposition claims that tens of thousands of people have been detained by the government and are languishing in Syrian jails. The Syrian government says the opposition needs to give them details of all those kidnapped and captured by armed militias, a subject that's likely to be returned to tomorrow 